Hello, this is Miss Janine, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we are going to describe motion using the concepts of acceleration. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! When you are riding a car, you can notice that the speed of the car is moving at an inconsistent speed depending on its direction. You can also observe that same situation when you are riding on a roller coaster. These two scenarios are examples of acceleration. Acceleration refers to the rate of change in speed or velocity of an object. But how can we say that an object is accelerating? An object is accelerating if Number 1. There is a change in speed. For example, the orange car travels with a speed from 40 km per hour to 60 km per hour. Number 2. There is a change in direction. For example, a bicyclist travels 2 meters per second east and then 2 meters per second south. Number 3. There is a change in both speed and direction. For example, the roller coaster travels in inconsistent speed in a circular path. Notice that the roller coaster travels in different directions. An increase in speed or velocity is called a positive acceleration while a decrease in speed or velocity is called deceleration. To calculate for the acceleration of an object, we need this formula. Acceleration equals change in velocity over time, or acceleration equals the final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Take note of the SI unit, which is meters per second squared. Let us discuss this sample problem. A car accelerates from an initial velocity of 10 meters per second to a final velocity of 30 meters per second in 2 seconds. Find the acceleration of the car. First, write the initial velocity which is 10 meters per second. Final velocity is 30 meters per second and our time is 2 seconds. We are looking for the acceleration. For our formula, we are going to subtract the initial velocity from the final velocity and then divide it by time. 30 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by 2 seconds is 10 meters per second squared. Thus, our final answer is the car's acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. Now, it's time for you to try answering a problem about acceleration. Time's up, let us check if your answers are correct. In this video, we discuss acceleration, ways on how to determine whether an object is accelerating, the positive acceleration and deceleration, and computing for an object's acceleration. That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!